Locker room talk, baby. The locker room. Mitch Rain, what's going on, bro? Gempy, not much, man. Thanks for yeah. uh, coming by, bro. I know it's um, late notice, but I appreciate it, man. How you been? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Um, you, uh, you're you from Illawarra, hey? Yeah, um, South Coast, really. Uh, Kaiama, Jerringong. Yep. It's about um, 45 minutes south of Wollongong. And, and is like, would you, were you always in like, the Dragon system? For people that don't know, even though most people do know, Mitch Rain is uh, the hooker for the Dragons and also country rep. Yeah, that's right. And even recently got your name thrown up for Origin. Yeah. In the, in the papers? Um, it's a bit of media speculation. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's good to be, I guess it's, you know, good to be spoken about and um, have your name tossed around, really, in those in, in a team like that. But, yep. yeah, it wasn't a B. Um, so you, you were kind of like, you've always been uh, like an Illawarra kind of boy. So was that... Was that always a plan, being the footy player, or were you just enjoying footy and, and you just kind of fell into the Illawarra system and the Dragon system? Um, kinda. Um, I was growing up Kiama. Um, I was a little surf rat, so yeah. um, I surfed every single day and played footy on the weekends, really. And then it wasn't until I was about uh, 16, um, tried out for the uh, Harold Matt side, which is an under-16s comp. Yep. And that's the junior reps for the Steelers and got selected in that. And pretty much from that age on, I kind of put everything else aside and because I was enjoying it so much, yeah. train, the training we did and, you know. Um, and, yeah, pretty much from from that age, I knew that that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to play footy. I wanted to play in the NRL. So you said you, you love to surf and stuff like that. Were, were you just casual surf or were you fully into it as in... Because I know a few boys, because I'm from the Gold Coast, that... They were kind of casually into it, but at the same time, if they wanted to, they could have taken that next step. Um, yeah, I don't know. I never really went in comps in that. I yeah. um, kind of just done it um, for fun, really. And I know everyone, all my friends as well, growing yeah. up, were heaps into surfing and that. And it's part of the culture yeah. down there, eh? Like it's a kind of so, way of life. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. So surfing, footy, and every single day, and yeah, I don't know, yeah, if. If you could have, you just... <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> no. I'd like to say, I'd like to think, you know. Yeah, yeah. But they're pretty good at yeah. what they do. <laughs> I, um, living on the Gold Coast, like, obviously, you know, I used to do a bit of bodyboarding. I was, I was, I was a piece <laughs> of shit. I was so shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, like, it, as, I, as, as it would have been with you, like, it's just, like, you kind of grow up and you kind of do it um, because it's just, you know, all your mates do it and it's just a way of life kind of on living on the beach. Yeah, that's and, right, yeah. And, um... And you used to see all these grommets, man. They'd be like 13 years old and just ripping it up. And you'd just be like, guys, 100%. And then you'd speak to guys that like no, no surfing and they'd be like, honestly, he's probably like the third or fourth best. He's not even the number one. So it's like way more competitive than people kind of make you out to be because it's more of a like, yeah. when you look at surfing like from the outside, you see it as like a, a pastime that people just enjoy. But it's like there's a whole other side to it, eh? That like is full professional, full, full yeah, on the gym. and that's I'm the furthest thing from that. I just surf for a bit of fun. Um, <laughs> not nowhere near in that, uh, you know, that that league. But um, you know, it's something that I enjoy doing, and my time away from footy I always have. And yeah, I'm kind of back into it a bit at the moment. I go on stages where I will surf. Um, yep. You know, every couple of days or every day for three weeks, and then I won't yep. go in the water for two months or yep. three weeks. And then I find if I'm in the water every day, I'll be surfing okay. But if I'm not <laughs> in the water, then I'm crap and I'm <laughs> like, like, retarded. So it's just like anything, really. If you yep. do it every day, like yeah, you, you get mad. You, at you it. can be okay, yep. but like if you practice, you know, it makes perfect, I guess. But I'm not a very good surfer anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, so do you when you're in preseason? Do you feel like that's when you don't? do it as much because you're so tired and like training so hard obviously it's hard to get down you're training earlier usually training at like I don't know 6 or 7 I don't know that's when we when we used to train it was 6 or 7 or something like that yeah I don't know really like it just comes and goes in like I don't know really like I'll be I'll be really enjoying it I'm like oh I'll have the froth and I'll surf every day and yep. then all, something will happen I'll be like oh, I'm over it yeah, uh, yeah, yeah I'm tired from footy or I'm sore I don't want to be fatigued for training or whatever, but because footy's always going to come first. But yep. um, you know, if I need to get my mind off, you know, 
footy or I want to do something else, I feel like I'm footied out, then I always turn to, you know, getting in the water, I guess. Um, it's uh, one of the things too, like you can rock up and the surf can be shit and you're just like, fuck, I got fully came out here and fucking... <laughs> it's just shooting. <laughs> yeah, I just I kind of check it uh, the forecast, so I have an idea. So I won't even. You know, if yeah. it's pretty bad, then I won't. Um, you know, go down. But yeah. <laughs> um. So was there ever, like was there a moment when you were like, you know, because you said you made the Harold Matthews team. Was that like a were you a hundred percent like, like I could probably do this for, for a living, like, or yeah. was it kind of like people were still like, like had to kind of tell you look you're right you should probably put your head down and have a dig here and whatever happens happens kind of thing um well growing up like my parents never really pressured me to do anything so yeah. um once i tried it for the team and made it like you know they were pretty happy for me but they never really like oh keep, you gotta do this you gotta train you gotta you know keep working you gotta make it like i kind of just Happened naturally. Um, enjoy it, like was enjoying myself so much that I, away from you know training, I'd be training by myself or doing whatever because I was so like interested in it. And from the 16s, which is the Harold Matthews Cup, the next year to the SG Ball, which is under 18s, and then kind of enjoying it, still the same. Like you know, I'd be going away from training myself, like because I was having to enjoying myself so much. I'd be doing all the extra training and that and putting myself in a position to um you know get to where i am today yeah so was there ever because I, I remember when i um when i f- first decided that i'd start playing footy being smaller a lot of people were like like you're too small you can't make it did you ever have yeah. being a smaller guy yourself was there a lot of got people that were like too small can't do it all the time and you always hear about um you know all the small guys coming through that they they try and write you off you know when you're younger i guess but um, I was always pretty small, but um, yeah, as I said, like I always trained, you know, pride myself on training uh, extra hard and yep. putting in, you know, the hard yards, um, whether it was in the gym or, you know, fitness and condition. So, um, yeah, I don't know, really. Like, Is it because you're like such a chill dude? Like, when I've, like, from the beginning of playing footy, usually the guys that train extremely hard are pretty intense out of training is that like with you your chilled as anything off the field but you're one of the best trainers is that like something you think about a lot or like is that a conscious decision or um i don't know it's just i'm pretty competitive so yeah. like i might be look like i'm chill but there's <laughs> new things turn over in my head just going yeah. Like, yeah. um yeah so i'm pretty competitive really and when it comes down to you know all that preparation in pre-season and that like um i kind of hate really like losing <laughs> so like i'll be like although i'm competing against myself to get better and that like yep. um and put and do better like it's just um how i am really like um and always have been um uh, pretty competitive but yeah <laughs> um yeah, because it, has it always been come naturally to you though? Like, as in, did it take a few years before you decided that like? Because I, I know that it, it took probably three years in NRL or in the NRL system before I started thinking like, shit, I got to eat right here, I got to train properly here, I got to like, there's got to be so much more commitment. Whereas in the first few few years, I was kind of like getting by on just like I was still training hard, but you know what I mean. Yeah. I, it wasn't a conscious decision. It was just like whatever, whatever they told me to do, I do. Whereas like after three or four years. I'd go away from footy and I'd that I'd have to contribute <coughs> to it as well. I wouldn't just be listening to what they said. I'd be adding things onto that and, you know, maybe stretching at home or whatever. Is that yeah. is that happen with you or um well, I've always been massive on like physical preparation, yep. like being prepared physically. Um but one thing I've kind of really lacked in, you know, and I'm as I'm kind of maturing a bit, like is, you know, um like mental preparation really yep. like and a lot of people don't realize how much how how much important it is you know yep. to be in the right headspace to be playing good footy and or doing whatever you're doing um you know like well um so i've always been massive on uh, prepping for games or whatever season like being in the best shape i can physically but um yeah kind of in the past where i've been let down really it's not been prepared mentally, mentally like, it's yep. something i'd really like to look into and you know just do you think Mary, take myself Mary's to the helped next a lot level? with that 
because he's, he's um, a tough kind of player. You're you're a tough kind of player. He's an honest guy. You know, yeah. he's he's you're, you're pretty much in like in my opinion. I think you're in career best form. I think you're playing the best footy you've ever played. Thanks, is bro. yeah, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you think that? What do you reckon that is? Do you, is there a con, is there a, are you making different decisions than what you used to? Even though you, you played well last year, but like this seems to be your most error free footy. Is there what's going? Yeah. Um, Mary's come in. He's, he's doing a really good job of getting everyone on the same page. Really, like yep. the last uh, two or three years have been pretty disappointing. Um, we haven't been very successful, but we've had a good team and there's yep. been a lot of good individual um, performances and that. But I don't know. He's, he's kind of come in. Uh, the bloke he is, like he's like overhauled the whole system and everyone's buying into it. And I don't know if everyone's got. They're, they know their role within the team and everyone's, you know, enjoying themselves. Like, um, you can see, like, we've, you know, everyone, we've been, the success we've had this early part of the season, like, it hasn't really, um, doesn't mean anything. Yeah, only halfway yeah. through the year, but, like, you can tell. You can definitely tell um, watching that everyone's kind of got their, there's one goal and everyone's. And, yeah, and everyone's on the same yeah. page. I think that's the best thing, really. You know, he's got everyone, like, everyone's good mates there and. Like everyone's just really buying into what you know, yep. what we want. Yeah, definitely. Um, are you enjoying your footy at the moment? Like, is it something? I know that me personally, there were when we were playing well, it made enjoying the footy so much more. You know, it yeah. meant so much more. Is that the same with you or? Massively, and you know yourself, like it's the biggest roller coaster ride. Like, oh, being man. a footy player, oh, like, man. it's pretty, um, like it's crazy. Like everyone else from the outside, just thinks you know you turn out and play footy, but it's an it's an emotional roller coaster. Oh, <laughs> like, two, like two or three bad yeah, games, and you're yeah, nearly like, getting you're getting nearly getting dropped, no matter you, who you are. And you don't know, like it's, it's hard to put your finger on. If things aren't going right, it's hard to put your finger on what you know what's good and what yep. you're doing good and what you're doing bad. But um, at the moment, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Um, it's been a bit hard these last couple of weeks because uh, the mid, mid part of the year we've had two buys, so it's yep. kind of been it's kind of stopped our momentum a bit you yeah, know like yeah. stop start game yeah. two weeks or like and you, two, and you week, had that. two games and then like yeah. long turnarounds from mondays and now i'm suspended for this game against Parramatta. yeah so like it is that for, just, from lifting yeah it's a lifting charge um <laughs> and i has gone soft man <laughs> <laughs> i um i it's 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 Come to think about it, actually, I didn't think about it before the, we started speaking. But being a smaller guy, that that's your forte. Like, that's, that's how you tackle. You can't really. It's harder for you and for me when I played to go high and try to dominate a tackle. But going low and lifting to put them on their back is is so they've kind of taken that out of your game, which is um, yeah, come on, you can really, but you know just they're, really. they're just a lot. I didn't get put on report at the time. They just at the same as the NRLs come down hard yep. on those tackles. Like it, it was. You know, by the rules, illegal. So you just got to. It's just it. like it's hard when um you know you don't I don't attack like that and it was not nothing in it really and then yeah. you see other blokes that are doing like these ridiculous <laughs> yeah and yeah they're yeah. getting off like yeah, yeah. they're getting the same charges as um myself like it was a grade one and I only missed I missed a week because I had a previous lifting charge as well yeah. so um. You know, it's one week off, which is you know, it sucks because you always want to be out there. Yeah, and, especially when they're like when uh, they actually start playing and you're sitting on the bench. If, and the momentum, like it just felt like I was just I was really psyched to you know get yep. string a couple of games together again and get back into um, playing good footy again like we were at the start of the year. And yep. it just feels like it's just another, yeah, another like strong. another stoppage. Yeah. But you know, um, it'll give me another week to uh, get my body right, really, and. Um, it's a long year, man. Is, yeah, it is massive, yeah. and there's another ten rounds to go still. So um, you're only halfway. You're exactly yeah. halfway. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so you got one game. So you'll be back, and you and you've you've had two buys. So that's what you've, that means. You've missed. You would have missed three matches, like as in you, you've had two buys over the last four weeks. Um, so we had a buy, um, two games. Not got robbed against the Roosters. I can't oh. believe it. <laughs> oh, man, I can't believe it. Um, we didn't get robbed. We didn't really play very well. That's the th- we, haven't been perform- um, the dra- us, we haven't been performing well after buys and on Monday nights as well. It's just, I don't think I've ever won on a Monday night. It's just oh, curse. man, I uh, hate Monday night games, man. <laughs> I, I used to hate them. I, it, was just, it just felt so weird. I could never get used to There's no one playing. there. Oh, there's no one there watching. Yeah. Like, there's no atmosphere. Um, it stuffs your whole week up, really, but... 
we're gonna have to get our head around you know getting it right i guess yes yeah 100 percent because um it'd be pretty disappointing to go so well at the start yeah. of the season and then just peter That's off right. yeah um so i mentioned earlier you you had your name tossed up for origin is was that ever something that you thought of before you started playing nrl like as in origin or was it just like no way i'll never like that's not something i'm looking at or yeah um look it's it's pretty it's awesome to get talked about you know with uh, have your name tossed up but um i always i've always been confident in my ability like yeah. I always knew that I could, you know, do it. Everyone yeah. coming through, like I might sound, I don't want to sound cocky or whatever, but no. I always knew that, like, yeah. I was going to play footy. Some, I don't know. There was just, I just had, a, I just it had the feeling. Oh, so, so like, did I, I and I didn't play footy. Yeah, and I knew I was going to do anything I could to do it. But you know, it's just, it's one, you know, it's one thing to play NRL, and then there's another stepping stone. There's another thing I'm looking forward to. Hopefully, you know, um, one day, I actually. Uh, playing for the Blues, that'd, yep. be, that'd be massive. Because you're still only, you're 26? 25. 25, 25. So you're, <laughs> you're still old. young. Yeah. Oh, you're still young. 25, you've got like, what, seven years left, probably, um, if, yeah. if you're lucky. As I said, like, I'm only just really starting to, um, you know, feel really comfortable. Yep. Um, like like I've matured a lot more in these last couple of years. You know, I still felt like I was, you know, yep. just... 18 years old these last couple of years playing with men you know I kind of just feel like a, you know I've really matured this last you know year or so in in being being like especially in the hooker role because it's such a like it's like you're you're the first point of decision but you you, nest, you, you don't really it's hard, it'd be you, you could talk about it better than I could but you're the first point of decision but you're not necessarily the captain or the play caller so it it be it's a hard it's a hard position to play for a young, a younger guy because to have that confidence to make the decisions, but in saying that, you don't really have the power to make full-on decisions. If you know what I mean, like, yeah, it's a, it's a tough. So now you're 25, you've kind of grown into that. Yeah, that's right. And um, like going in there as a young guy, like I'd be playing with you know very experienced halves yeah. and whatever who have done it all. You know, played for their state, um, country, and that. And, like you go in there and you have to look up your counter numbers or whatever you see something else on sometimes you have to you know like um, just do and it. I found it hard to yeah. you know like if they had one of the ball or something you kind of you know have to you know go against what they're yeah, yeah. experienced like guys you know it is hard for a young guy coming through but I guess like you just got to back yourself really yep yeah. and do you reckon that's that's something this year has is helped a lot as in you've kind of established yourself you're confident in, in your decisions you're confident in your ability to, to maybe override a call if you have to kind of thing yeah i guess really um you know just i'm feeling a lot more com- um you know confident this year really and when i've been playing good footy throughout my career like in stages like it just comes down to whether um you know feeling like in the as i said before the right headspace and i've never really um thought about too much but you know, if you're in the right headspace you're, you're playing good footy and yeah you know, um and and you're confident, like you know, I'm pretty like affected by confidence in that. Yep. So if I'm playing good, like you know, I keep playing good. But yeah, you know, it's like yeah. a snowball effect, you know, like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and it when you're playing bad, bad yeah. you just like kind of just out. It just gets worse and worse, yeah. and you're trying to like think of what you can do to make things better. But um, so do, do you think footy has changed much over the last few years? As in, do you think that since you came in, what five years, six years ago? Do you think it has changed a lot the way the game is kind of played, and is it faster or slower being in the middle yeah. that you'd know? Um, I don't know really. Like it, it definitely has changed. Like the speed of the game and the size and like the power of some of the guys oh, playing man. these days is crazy. Like to think like speed you know, and power and like I'm like I'm a midget. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in the middle. Like, I'm small too, man. I'm small too. And I'm in the middle like tackling some of these like beasts. Massive that, you dudes. Know? Um, and you just wonder like you know. How they, how, so they big so big pow- yeah. how they get so big and sparse? How they get so powerful? But yeah. you know, generally, like they don't last as long. So yeah, you just yeah. got to hang, hang in there. You yeah, got to do yeah. your best <laughs> until they fatigue and that. Yep. And then that's when guys like us, you know, the little Can, midgets, like come into their own. But that's, like a lot of people, a lot of people like that watch and stuff like that. They go, they're like, oh, you know, just get in there and use your speed, like. Getting in there and using your speed only works when they're fatigued. So That's you've right, got yeah. you've got to get through the first fifteen minutes of getting bashed, <laughs> and then you can use your speed. But you've just been bashed for fifteen minutes, so yeah. you're sitting there going like, "So yes." Um, have you ever thought about anything other than footy? Like, have you like what what would you do? What would, if if you had another career to choose other than footy? What would it be? Um, I don't know. You put me on the spot there, really. Like, 
Well, I know I know you've got a story about being a sparky. Oh, <laughs> I've had a few other than like um, <laughs> jobs in my time. You know. I started off as a dish dish pig dishy yeah. when I was uh, I think I was sixteen. Worked in a restaurant in Kiama. Yeah. Um, I, I was I kind of tell everyone I was a chef. I did a, <laughs> did a bit of food prep and that, uh, mainly scrubbing dishes. Um, work. I was a bit of a labourer for my old man as a builder. Oh man, um, no, that's that's. It was all right. Like it wasn't too bad. Really? Uh, oh, well, I was working for the old man, so it was oh. probably really easy on me in that. Yeah, fair enough. And then out of school, I was a first year electrician for Downer Engineering. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was. I didn't really like that very much. Uh, well, me being an electrician now, I can. Uh, yeah. I can feel your pain on some of the things you were talking about. Yeah, like I don't know. Like, what was the <laughs> what was the time when you fell asleep? Oh. <laughs> like, well, they didn't really give me any jobs, you know, like because yeah. they're so strict on safety yep. and that. Um, I feel your pain. Trust like, me. Like, I'll be, <laughs> I'll be working on the, these. Um, they, my job was like fire job, like <laughs> fire duty. Sorry, so I was sitting next to a fire extinguisher all day. Yeah. Like, what do you learn from that? Like, there's not a fire stuff. There'd be guys <laughs> welding above like a switch room or something. Yeah. Yep. In the steelworks, and I'd be under there by myself, like nothing catching on fire. Like. <laughs> so I'd just be like, I'd just perch up on the on the cables, cable trays, and yeah. have a sleep or whatever. And, yeah. and you got called, didn't you? Didn't yeah. they catch up? <laughs> Yeah, I got busted. But <laughs> I wasn't a very good worker back then. But I would have been if you know I got given a few jobs. But it's, yeah, it's I hard guess though. like I got caught sleeping on the job, so like, <laughs> I probably got to be, um, you know, lying straight through my na- name oh. then. But it's crazy. Like you're you're an extremely hard worker, like playing footy, but like work that's not footy is so different like yeah. I, I really like when i first started working like i was a bad worker too man like i, I was a pretty hard worker like footy i was like yeah. love fitness love to work hard all that kind of stuff but like working especially when they're giving you jobs where you're like literally watching like watching a wall or something like that yeah um it's crazy how different it is eh? yeah i know but yeah you're gonna have to oh, do it one day, bro. You're gonna have to no, eventually. No. <laughs> but I, I, my head was never really there in the first place, you know, because yep. I always, as I was, that's when I was playing under twenties, and you had to have a job or go to uni or yeah, something. Yeah. So I went, I it's had a, a tough job, gig, man, and reckon. then so I was working, um, you know, the hours I do, whatever, seven till I was not always late as well, <laughs> <laughs> um, seven till whatever, three thirty, you yeah. know, and then I'd go straight to training, leave like. Been in the steelworks all day, dirty yep. as, go straight to the train and then train weights, to like, video what, field. Eight? Like, I'd be getting home at like 8.30 and then you go to bed and then you do the same thing oh. every day. And then... I, I, I don't know, uh, like, um, I, I feel like... I feel like with the under twenties, it's it's like almost too much, man. Like, yeah. I, like I think that either they... I think they need to scale back the training for the twenties and, and make it more and invest more money into the reserve grade. Yeah, that's So right. that, like, guys that are older... They're used to working and also like – so if you're investing more money into the reserve grade, you've got your top 30 or whatever that can play reserve grade and they can train full-time. So you don't have these 20-year-old – like under 20s like working – like if you if you counted those hours as work, like yeah, the It's crazy training, hours, you, yeah. yeah. you're working like what, 14, 15 hours a day, man. And like – so you had a big day at work and then oh, you go and we're getting absolutely towed up at training because you're yeah. young as well yep. bashing each other like you're trying yep. to prove yourself because you it's nearly as hard as first yeah. grade like it's crazy you, yeah 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 you're doing the same fitness as first yeah. grade but first grade's getting six hours rest in the middle yeah. of the day but in saying that um when i found out that um the only reason i hadn't been training with first grade was because i was working like that, got, <laughs> that, that, that was gone pretty quick <laughs> yeah, and yeah. um and i started going to uni yep what did you study um, there? I uh, started off, I've done a, done a few things. <laughs> um, I was do, started doing PE teaching. Yep. Um, I've done a full year of that. And um, then that's when I started playing first grade, yep. really. so um, It's hard to, it's it like was, hard to balance today. Yeah, it was very hard for me to balance. And I got through one year, then the second year, was, I couldn't really it's do it. Much, so man. I had a bit of time off and um, then went back a year or two too later and um, started doing a commerce degree and I'm on a rest from that at the moment again <laughs> but yeah it's Do pretty you, um, balancing like um, I reckon yeah, it's mentally it's draining it's crazy yeah it's like mentally draining to like 
to be switched on at uni and be listening constantly yeah. and studying and then coming to footy, especially when the mental side, what you are talking about earlier, the mental side's so demanding nowadays because you've got to be like fully, you know, yeah. ready to go at all times when it comes to like video sessions, you know, talking about, especially dummy half, you, you've got all the moves and everything like that. Like you've got to be like, I used to, I remember like some coaches are different than others. I think Mary's pretty simple, but like some coaches are giving you new moves every day, man. Yeah, and that's you're just like, shit, man. This is too much, eh? Hey? Well, that's like our game plan's been changing from week to week each. Yeah, so there's so a lot to hard. remember. There's yeah. a lot of different roles you got to know. Like, um, yeah. So it's, add that it's a lot in your plate, really. Yeah. But I plan on going back and yeah. finishing. But um, did you enjoy it? Uh, it's, to be like. To be honest, like, not really. <laughs> but um, Bro, I totally understand, trust me. Like, I've just started um, thinking lately, like, um, you know, I'm living the dream of the main playing footy, but yep. it's not going to last forever. Um, yeah. It's just really hard to work out, you know. Yeah, 100%. Do, but, oh, bro, because yeah. it's, it, like, and also you compare everything to footy, like, as in, so you compare everything to how much you love footy. Yeah. So, like, when you're in class, you're like, man, compared to training with my mates and rocking up every day this is like this is nowhere near as good but like if you never had experienced how good it is to play footy professionally then then you probably would enjoy it more if you know what i mean it's crazy like how much you know footy like overtakes your life it's <laughs> become a massive part of my life really yep. like um which is i don't know it could be a bad thing really like i've you it's, know yeah. that year just everything's footy 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 but all it's got to be me like it's, it's hard gotta... to switch off sometimes oh, you know I... but you got to but yeah. it is um, yeah, it is hard, but if you if you really in, enjoy what you do as well, yeah. like it's kind of hard to switch off. And like I'm loving what I'm doing at the moment. It's yeah. kind of hard, really, to <laughs> but switch like, it off. How, how do you switch? Like, how do you switch off? Because like, it, footy's become so professional. Like you've you've got to be constantly, like, not not ready to go, but like as in, like for instance, you, you would train like when you would train what you let's say you have a a Friday game, or say let's say you have a Saturday game. You would rock up on. You do your rehab Sunday. You do a, a light team run Monday and probably yeah, some weights. Just get the legs moving yeah. again, yeah. And then on game. Tuesday you'd have probably do another team run or like a skill session or whatever, and some weights. And then Wednesday would be re, like rehab day, and you'd you'd come in do massage. Um, but the training's really changed like this year. Oh, really? To, since since you were there, Mary's yeah. really kind of. Whereas in the past, it's been everything go, 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 yeah, yeah. like physically ready. Like we've had a lot more rest and recovery. I don't know whether why that's why we have been going so so well, but yep. um, it's a lot more, you know, emphasis on getting your bodies right for the game and just doing a little skill work and that and not um, overloading um, you know, everyone in the team. So, Are yeah. you enjoying it more? Like as in you, you, what you're doing is more quality than quantity, so you're kind of enjoying your footy more, yeah. being able to... Like, instead of being out there slogging away, you're, you're out there doing the bits you enjoy and then kind of coming off the field and just chilling or whatever. Yeah. What? <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> no, no, I mean, like, as in, because you're not doing, you're not like, I used to remember when we trained for long hours, yeah. the first hour would be really enjoyable, intense, you know, good quality footy, but then the second hour was just like, people yeah. would be dropping balls and just be like, this is shit, man, like, this yeah. is too long. At, at the moment, like, we're in season, so it's not as, you know, demanding, but you know what it's like in the preseason, like, oh, you're training six days a week yeah. and it's like every day you're just bashing yourself yep. pushing yourself to the limits really but during the season um, it's kind of more just about maintaining really and getting yep. those tweaking those little things getting yep. them right and we had a huge pre-season like heaps different to what we've done in the past yep. but um, yeah like uh, heaps different in the way that you know preparing physically and that like we've yep. a lot more we've done a lot more concentrating on you know like core skills and stuff oh, okay. like that where instead of in the past we've been massive focus on getting physically right getting you know oh, okay. everything else so that, yep. I don't know there's something that's heaps different really like it's, it's obviously worked I mean yeah. like you know so like you're running what are you second at the moment um, we're coming third at the third moment, like, yeah. but you, but it's pretty tight like close isn't it like as in one or two points in, in that kind of four I think we're two behind second yeah, or maybe I'm not sure and then the roosters are just behind us so you are with the Dragons for a year, another year. You you you're signed with them, hey? Like, as in you've got one more year in your contract? Yeah, this year, next year. Um, and um, is it is it, would you want to be Dragons forever? Like, as in is that a lifetime thing you see yourself doing? Like, hopefully, if you. Well, I'd love to, but 
you never know what's yeah, you what's around know. the corner of footy. You know, yeah, like, I mean, I know. There's so many variables, yeah. yep. um, and the way the games change, like yep. it is a business these days. So, yep. um, you know, being a local junior, I'd love to play um, for the rest of my career, but you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, it's 100%. too hard to say. Um, yep. You know, I might not be enjoying my footy next year. Like chances are, I'll, I'll yeah, be. will be. Yeah, but, um, yeah, it's too hard to say, really. It's crazy how like um, it, literally like two or three weeks can change everything in footy. Like you can have two or three bad games. And all of a sudden, you're on, you know, you're on the yeah. uh, you're playing reserve grade, <laughs> and you're sitting there going, "This sucks." So, yeah. Um, if you could play another sport, would you ever play it? Like, with, is there any other sport that you kind of enjoy? Um, yeah, I don't know really. Like, I've been a footy head, like just ever since. Yeah. Ever since I was like sixteen, like I've just have been footy. Like footy. Do you like? I know, I know you're close. I know you're close. To, you've got mates outside of footy that you're really close to. Are they yeah. you ever give you shit, call your footy head, and all that kind of stuff. Not really. Are like, they pretty supportive. Um, they're pretty supportive. You yeah. Know. Um, I don't know. Well, kind of when I was younger, like they would like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When you're younger, like, that's when you can't go out with them and stuff like that, and they're yeah. like, "Oh, come on, man." But you know, you got to make your sacrifices. And yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Um, I ask all the boys this when they come on. Uh, favorite. Well, you, you, are you, you like rap? A little bit. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> uh, well, I'll just say favorite musician. What do you want? What do you want? Rap? You want me to say my favorite? Rapper? Yeah, fa- favorite rapper actually, and it's got to be past and present. Um, oh, I don't even really know any like present rappers. Um, my, <laughs> okay, well, past. <laughs> past. I used to love Fifty Cent. Fifty. When I was yeah, yeah, teenager. Fire and he fell go, off, man. Go. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, uh, favorite movie of all time? Number one. Um, I don't know. I kind of really like Swordfish, but that's getting pretty old now, isn't it? That's a good uh, movie, man. I kind of really like um, Johnny. Travolta. I've been liking Inception now. Inception? <laughs> yeah. How good is that? That's yeah. the biggest trip. Do you reckon he it was is. still in the dream at the end? Nice. No, I've looked it up in the forums. He's not. <laughs> Did you look it up? I had to know, man. I had to know. <laughs> He's so, not. Like, but the, the it, director's yeah. never confirmed or denied. Yeah, well, because, like. Um, he's never looked at the kids when he spins the thing or whatever. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin this for anyone. Like, okay, spoiler alert. Just if you if you, if you haven't seen Inception, <laughs> either go and watch it, you idiot, or just don't listen to this. So like, when he spins the thing, like um, he sees the kids, he always flashes back to that memory. Like his kids are in different coloured clothes or something. Yep. So it's not a memory if they're in different coloured clothes. You know what I mean? But but you Good. never see you never yeah. see his totem fall since he's in you know when he goes under like he's in the um the but, toilets yeah you but never was, see his totem fall since then because in like when he spins the totem it's wobbling like they leave an open ending but because he never wants the kids to turn around he goes because I want to you know remember him remember him like he doesn't want to ruin the it's he that's a memory up to that point and when he tells them to turn around they turn around he sees their faces so he doesn't like imagine them to whatever he wants them to be like they're wearing the same clothes you know so 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 you're saying that because he does different they're wearing different clothes sorry oh so yeah. you're saying that if it was a memory they'd be wearing the same clothes yeah and they wouldn't have turned around no like they he would have just made up like different faces for him you know uh, oh, okay i guess i don't know it's a it's a massive trip so good just, i've read the forums and because they're in <laughs> I, I, went read, I, read, I swear to god i read it too but like it was like three or four years ago yeah. i couldn't help myself I, um, <laughs> have you seen shutter island yeah i have but i remember like it's i didn't really like it because it was wigging me out too much really like <laughs> How yeah, I don't really like that movie. It's kind of scary. Really? Like, I'll get. I don't really like scary movies at all. And, you know, like so you're like that's you're a, like that's, me. That's a bad. It's a bad trip. That movie. Like, I, ooh. Did you did you see the like? Did you watch it at the end or not? You didn't watch it to the end. I watched it to the end. Yeah. So do you, what do you reckon? Do you reckon he was crazy or not? Yeah. You reckon he was crazy? I reckon he was crazy. No. Nah. He killed the. He killed his. Um, no, his missus did. Yeah. Well, I just. I was I was wigging out too much. I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it, right? <laughs> bro, you've got to like it, bro. Yeah. Oh man, um, bro, that's that's over thirty minutes. We're done. Well, we're done, are we? Already, sweet. Unless unless you got anything else to say? No, I was, yeah, I was pretty nervous coming in. Like, yeah. so no, I appreciate you, coming down, bro. Cool. I, I really do. No, it's um, we usually it, we go. I usually go thirty minutes, but um, like if it's going like if it's going well, I just keep going or whatever. I keep talking, but. Yeah, Sweet. real good. Thanks for that, bro. I appreciate it. Well, I hope um, you got some good stuff. It wasn't too boring or dull. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it was good, man. It was good. That was 35 minutes. I felt like 15. Sweet. All right, bro. Thank you.